for your interest in Kapow software. In this video, I'll be demonstrating web content migration into Tridian. The Kapow Catalyst Extraction Browser can extract documents and content, including metadata, from files, database systems, websites, digital asset management systems, and CMS servers. The web content and metadata is organized into an intermediate database. The content is then uploaded into Tridian using Kapow's Tridian plugin. The Tridian plugin automatically generates the SOAP envelope containing the content and the appropriate TCM component template. This is the Kapow Catalyst design environment. The first step of the content migration process is to do an inventory of the website. The steps of the inventory robot up above were created simply by interacting with the website in the extraction browser. This robot loads each page of the website into the extraction browser and then uses the for each URL step to loop through the website and find each URL on the page. The steps that follow extract the URL from the website and then validate that the URL belongs to the current domain. The content type of the link is also extracted and saved into the database. So after the inventory robot is run, we'll have a database table of all the URLs that make up the website. This represents our to-do list for our content migration. This is the first of two extraction robots. This one's fairly simple. There's no visual component. We're simply going to query the inventory database that we just created and find all of the URLs for the resource files, such as the PDF files, JPEGs, etc. We're going to save all those files to the local hard drive and then store the location in the inventory database table. I'll switch to debug mode now and run the robot, and here we can see each URL each file name and each file size as it's saved off to the local hard drive and the file location is stored back to our database. The second extraction robot goes back to the inventory database and this time we're going to query for all of the HTML content. We define an area within the page as an article. We're going to have a loop that goes through every article on the page and it finds the title of the article and that's mapped into our content object down here when I pass the step. And the next attribute is the subtitle. That's mapped into the content object. And then the article date. The next step extracts the author. And then we extract the content of the article. And now that we've fully populated our content object, we're ready to store that object into the database. I'll switch to debug mode now and run the robot. And we can see all the article attributes as they're saved into the database. This robot uploads the image files into Tridian. We first query our database for all the image files. For each image file, we use the save item command that automatically generates the request XML based on the file type that we select. After that, we use the wrap command to wrap the command XML in a SOAP envelope. Then we use the execute command to actually execute this web service call, passing in the XML request that looks like this. This was all automatically generated by the Tridium plugin steps. After the request is executed, we receive back the execute response. The next step parses the response and extracts the item URI. The item URI for the uploaded item is then set back into the database. We can then use this for relinking all of our links that reference this image in our HTML content. We'll run this robot now and upload all the image files into Tridian and update the intermediate database with a new URI for each image. Before uploading the articles into Tridian, we first need to update the HTML to reference the new TCM ID numbers that are in our intermediate database for each of the images. To do this, we'll go through the database of articles, loading each article, and then creating a list of the links in the article. Using the extract list from converter in the assign attribute step, we'll get the list of all of the URL references in each article, and then we'll iterate through each of those links, and then replace those links in the article, save the article back into the database, and then once all the links have been updated, we're ready to upload the articles into Tridian. I'll run the robot. Each of the articles is loaded into the relinking robot, and each of the links in each article is changed to reference the TCM ID number that's been assigned to each of the images. Finally, we're ready to upload the articles into Tridian. The first step queries the database for the articles, and then we use the save item command to create a save item request based on the type of component. Then we use the nest object command that adds the article content to the XML structure. The next step executes the save item SOAP request. Response comes back from the server. We extract the URI. The URI for this article is updated in the intermediate database. We can run this robot now for each article. Each article is uploaded into Tridian and the new item URI is updated in our intermediate database for each of the articles. If you have any questions or you would like to see a more in-depth content migration demonstration, please use the information below to contact Content Migration Sales at Kapow Software.